Ok, we study 10 tests to prove the one series converge or diverge. Entonces, what is the strategy for deciding which test to use? Ok, number one, always, is using the diverge test. So, to start, you take the diverge test. The diverge test is completely limited. When the k approaches to infinity of the su k. See, the answer is non zero. You can affirm the k diverge. Otherwise, no, no conclusion. No, no converging, no, 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 no conclusion. You, you don't know. See, the answer is one number different to zero, two, three, four, five, negative one. Uh, the conclusion is diverge. That's it. Okay, the second step is determine if the series is spatial or not. We have two, three kinds of spatial. The first is geometric. So if it's geometric, you try to find the common ratio. See, the actual value of common ratio is less than one, the series converges. Otherwise, no. T is greater than or equal to 1. T is the actual value ratio is greater than or equal to 1. Leverage. This is the geometric. P series is easy. P series, if P is greater than 1, converge. CP is less than or equal to 1 diverge. And remember P is the exponent for the series. Typical identification of P series summation K1 to infinity. 1 over K P P series. Continuating is, you know, continuity is high plus or minus plus or minus and this is you test Alternating identification is alternating, yes. You apply they always alternating tests. To say is we contain two conditions. Condition number one is BK is decreasing. Uh -huh. You can use algebra or calculus. Suppose que es a function, you differentiate si the derivative is negative is decreasing. And the second is the limit when the k approaches to infinity or bk is equal to zero. It satisfies both conditions. One and two is converge. Otherwise, diverge. See, so fair at least one is diverge. Okay, the third possibility is using the integral test. Basically, you replace the series by the integral. You consider this like a function, and you compute the integral, improper integral of this function. See, this integral converges. The series also converges. See, this integral diverging. The series also diverge. But you apply only when you have a special function here. For example, natural logarithm, exponential, yeah, and other. Uh -huh. And number four is the k term contain factorial, uh, exponential, um, k to the k. You apply ratio test and when the k is exponent, in this case, you apply root test. So this is the formula for the ratio test, this is the formula for the root test. Actually, we compute the r or you compute the rho. If the r is in between 0 and 1, it's converging, otherwise divergent. And 1, specific 1, is no conclusion. And here, exactly the same. If it's in between 0 and 1, including 0, no, including 1. 
is converged. Otherwise, diverging as one equal one. And no conclusion. <laughs>